day everyone <laughs> greetings from guam to philippines or all over the world wherever you are kathy here your parent educator coach if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so like subscribe click the notification and share to others so that you will be notified every time i share to you new blogs or new content actually i just share my life to you it's not really a professional blogger but i just enjoy documenting and remembering what i have read or done that's something to uh, pass on to our next generation not only to my own children mm. so i hope today i would like to share to you my takeaway of this book i just finished reading cover to cover I don't read it just in one sitting. Usually when I do therapy to my daughter, I read along while I do some pressing and all this squeezing on her. And then aside from that, during my devotion, after I read his word, or this book has also some biblical passages as well. So very important to take control of your life or your finances so that your finances will not go disarray. So if you are an employee or a business person, let us uh, take it like um, conservatively. Let's not start our business in a way that uh, your capital is so big and suddenly you cannot cope up with it and hiring some employees, you cannot pay off their salary. So let's try to start slow and um, calculated risk. Okay, and then as an employee, if this is the... Um, salary for example 15,000 make sure you don't spend more than what you earn it's better at least 20 percent it set aside for your savings or for your investment in your insurances for your health funds protection fund education fund of your children before you spend so budgeting the word budgeting is very important so that we will not be uh, in debt so very important to pay off your debt actually we can help i do help people who are in need and i think na ah, i ex don't expect that they will pay but i do remind them because i just want them to also keep their words if they said that okay i will pay you they should also take their word for it so i'll remind them even though they said i pay you in a month's time pero three years have gone <laughs> five years wala pa rin pay so i hope shout out to those who are debtors to please keep your promises to your creditors so that when you are in need again they will still be of helping hand to you so that they will not surrender secondly um what else so aside from being taking calculated risk and uh, taking our word that we will if you are the debtor yourself, please do your best to um, pay off your debt. No? Slowly but surely. Start with the small ones so you will be motivated to pay until the big ones. And if you don't have that uh, self-control, uh, uh, don't have credit card. But if you think you are wise enough to pay your credit card on time and at your uh, advantage, then do so for your business sake. So you have a leeway of one month and then you sell the stuff and then you earn back and pay. So make sure you're good at this. Balance with your husband if you're a couple. Like for us, when I do business, I am good in sharing the product's benefit and my husband is the one doing the back-end thing, the delivery, the encoding, the, the redemption, the reaping of what we earn when we uh, buy something in a networking business. Actually, my business as an entrepreneur is a networking business. I always support uh, products of a company that is really good in quality, effective, and has results. So, and my husband is the one studying the marketing plan. That's how we grew for eight years now. And we were able to save and have our own condo, even parking lot like this. And we were able to have free travel through the uh, company's benefit. Actually, time is not so um, favorable sometimes, no, to us. But you know, as an employee, you have to be very uh, 
cautious na if you are paid of your time, please do give more than what is expected of you from your boss. And if you need to do a sideline, do it in a way that is not um, conflict to your interest of your company where you are working. Anyway, that's the sidetrack. But back to the book, I've learned a lot and in my own personal experience to live a life of generosity because truly what you invest or what you saw, you will reap. If you expect to uh, people to be positive or be relating to you in this way be that person invest to love and so you will reap love and give so that you will also receive i'm really so thankful how the lord has blessed us through the years for 14 years we are full-time ministers and then now for the past eight years it's um or yes it's a uh, transition to tent making we help church planters we help missionaries or full-time worker who are raising their own fund as because we know and we can relate how they they really live their life by faith and truly for me being a tent maker is a calling as well because not everyone can do focusing in um, serving the lord at the same time doing business at the side which i am blessed that i can do such thing and God positioned me in a way that I was able to lay the foundation of the businesses like um, I joined like at first as a financial advisor no, of AIA Philippines then I was able to get three times and the RT and then I joined East Cox International because I need the garments like this and what i'm wearing the arm shaper for my scoliosis so i joined the company where i also need their product and i see result talaga so from there i also invested to be a professional body designer first shout out to those who have crooked spine please pm me if you need a professional body designer to help you align your spine which is more um economical than to always uh, to have surgery yes and then thirdly i also joined mgi mega glory young international where they protect people from having eye concern or diseases along the way or prevent the onset of any critical mga eye illnesses no so i like that from head to toe not only for the eye spec but they also have from head to toe uh apparels that you can benefit from from bonnet eye mask neck neck way shaper also nano way and they have also for their knee and for their socks and all for the negative ion generators so many please pm me if you're interested to have all this kind of um business venture in your own spare or has side hustle as an employee or as a minister or whatever you are doing as a professional honestly my dear my passion is that as a parent educator i want to equip not only parents who are educating their own kids as well as professional teachers and in any walks of life because whether you are not whether you are a professional teacher by profession or not you are influencing the next generation so especially to those full-time worker in the church no i really would like to support you in the equipping by the way i'm a phd in educational leadership and management so i've been in the academy for 25 years so i know how it is that my experience i can package it in a way that can help parents educator and as a parent of two kids one is gifted and the other one has a special needs how i will i was able to rise above my circumstances and be able to really make um drastic improvement in them as well by god's grace everything by his wisdom and as a school principal how i turn around wisdom like christian academy from preschool now he's offering until grade school as a recognized school how i started tmi residential academy we are still in the organizational stage and how it will soar high as the lord bless he will truly let it grow hallelujah let's never give up dreaming investing serving earning so that 
as we earn, as we are blessed, we can be a channel of blessing to many. So many testimony personally that I have experienced to tell you that don't underestimate God. Let's continue to do as He prompts us to give. Let us give even though um, it may also hurt sometimes, but it's okay. God knows and He is faithful to bless us as we bless others.